come to spring in Minnesota. You know, there's a line in The Godfather where Clemenza is giving Michael Corleone the, the gun, and he, he said, I left it loud. That keeps all the pain in the ass innocent bystanders away. So here we are, all the pain in the ass innocent bystanders are huddled up in their, in their sleeping bags, and we are going out fishing. And we're going to catch fish. It's pretty incredible. I mean, you've seen the people that were here this morning. The crowd was incredible. It's 34 degrees out right now. It's cold and windy, and Minnesotans love their walleyes. I can't wait to go fishing, to be honest with you. I've never been on this body of water. It will be a challenge. I got three pretty cool guys with me today. I think we're going to catch some. It is Minnesota. Walleye fishing is our history. It's our culture. It's what many people live for every year, the opening of the walleye season and fishing in Minnesota. It's just kind of who we are. Well, I mean, fishing is just so much a part of the culture and the history of this state, and it really comes to the fore during the governor's fishing opener. This is the 69th fishing opener. I think we've been doing this since 1948. And, you know, especially when you come to communities like McGregor, but any year, wherever we go, and you see the whole community come together, the folks that turn out to be um, fishing hosts and the volunteers and the people that fix up the fish fry. And it just is a, um, it's just a tribute to the importance of community and how fishing is such a part of that community feeling in this state. You know, living in the community and born and raised in the community, you know, you kind of know who your go-to people are. And so we put that together and we've diligently been working on that for, for about 10 months and just really being rewarded right now, seeing it all come together and it's just been fabulous. When you spend time in a fishing boat, you spend time really talking to a person you've never talked to before, whether it's a friend, whether it's a coworker, whether it's a, uh, a member of the family, and it brings people together. It has an emotional effect on people in terms of experiences, in terms of memories, and, and, and we're just lucky we have fishing that, that, help, that can help deliver that to, to people and really helps, helps them deepen their soul. It was, it was a thrill of a lifetime. I just, it, was, it was so much fun. I really, I really enjoyed it. You know, people say, oh, you got the pressure, you got to get them a fish, you got them to get them a fish, but uh, it was totally relaxed atmosphere in the boat and you know, just general conversation. And it, was, it was really a lot of fun. And he, he caught a walleye. He did. He got he got about a 15 inch walleye. Um, he also caught a couple of perch and a crappie. And, and so he was having fun. He was having fun. And that's and that was the main thing. I wanted to make sure the people I had in the boat were having a good time. And uh, it seemed like they did. They seemed very happy.